YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Nate Just Dope back with another video. NJD Nation, what's up with it, man? You're watching Nate Jr. You know, so I'm trying to get used to, you know what I'm saying, say, saying that, you know. But uh, yeah, we're back with another reaction video. Uh, as y'all can see by the title, we're gonna be watching how to manage slash organize your money to become a successful millionaire. Mac Moolah Free Sauce. Hey look, this video will be coming from Mac Moolah. Um, now I've been watching his channel for about like a year, year and a half, you feel me? Um, young brother, you feel me? He's younger than me, but he's uh, very, very successful and he knows what he's talking about, man. And I just been like taking some little like tips from him and just like incorporating into my everyday life when it comes to like finances and entrepreneurship. And bro, when I say he got the sauce, he got the sauce. The brother know what he talking about, man. In this video in particular, um, I used it starting like when he first dropped the video i think it was about like i think it was about like a year and a half ago you know of uh, going on two years and when i say i've been using this uh this sauce that he gave in this video it really helped my finances and things like that and i just want to share it with y'all you feel me if y'all haven't seen the video um you know we're gonna watch it together and of course i'll leave his link in the description man so salutes to mac Mula. Uh, brother, your videos have been helping a lot, bro. Even as somebody that's, you know, older than you, you know what I'm saying? I still look up and I'll take your advice, you feel me? So, um, yeah, I ain't gonna waste no time, man. We're gonna check out this video. And yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. All these people have this same one common misconception, and that's that money is just money. Money just comes, I just get my paycheck from my job, I get it, I pay my bills, and that's it, right? And the reason, the way it's not organized, uh, it's one of the reasons why you can't keep money. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I organize my money. What's up, everybody? You may or may not know me. My name is Matt Moolah. I am the CEO of the Moolah membership. And um, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of free game on how to organize your money. This is something that I learned not until I was kind of later in my life, definitely way past high school. Um, and it's definitely something that I've noticed that most people, most of my mentees, uh, do not do. Most people who sign up for my membership, this is one of the first things they learn. And I'm starting to learn that it's some of the, mo it's one of the most important things when it comes to finances is actually organizing your money. Because I understand that most people, on average, have one, maybe two uh, uh, bank accounts, right? They have a, a checking account and a savings account, right? Some people have two check-ins. But it's not for nothing specific. It's just two checking accounts. Some people have a Chase and a Bank of America, for example, or a Wells Fargo and a Citibank, for example. Um, but it's nothing, it, the, the bank accounts aren't for a particular reason, right? And one thing that I learned that separates regular people who make regular money to the top five, 1% of the world uh, when it comes to finances, when it comes to income, is the way they organize their money, right? Because Getting money is easy, but keeping money is hard. And here on the Moolah Thanks. membership, I want to show you how to get money and keep money, right? I'm going to show you how to get money, and I'm going to show you how to keep money, and then growing money is even harder than that, right? But before you do anything, you have to get the money, and then after you get it, you have to learn how to keep it, and after you learn how to keep it, you have to learn how to increase it, right? So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a way to easily be able to keep your money, especially in a well-organized way, like, I really understand, like, this is a real problem in society. Like, most people, the girls that I talk to, the people that I run into on the street, the people that recognize me from YouTube, uh, from Instagram, whatever it is, people who just DM me and ask me, the people in my mentorship that I talk to one-on-one -on -one every day, uh, all these people have this same one common misconception, and that's that money is just money. Money just comes, I just get my paycheck from my job, I get it, I pay my bills, and that's it, right? And the reason, the way it's not organized uh, it's one of the reasons why you can't keep money. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I organize my money, how I learn to organize my money. And uh, you can take it, you can tweak it a little bit to your to fit your liking. This is just the way that I do it. This is what I find most successful. And if you don't do it exactly like this, as far as on the percentage percentage base, you need to do it exactly like this on the, when it comes to the type of accounts that you're going to get. Okay, so let's go ahead and start breaking this shit down. All right, so... Yeah, before he gets started, bro, like, yeah, like, everything he was saying, bro, like, I I, I would just get a paycheck, put it in one account, or probably two, because I used to have a checking and a savings account, 
and I would just put money in my savings account and then just leave the rest in my checking and then just spend that. You feel me? Um, but this right here, bro, he he gonna break it all the way down, bro. I'm telling you, keep watching. But um, yeah, though, like just like you said, like a good percentage of people in the world don't do this. You feel me? And I like I've heard of this method that he's about to speak of before watching this video but i just never like understood how to get it started you feel me but he helped me really get it started bro and it's it's been a life changing method bro like i'm telling you you know what i'm saying um but yeah like i never was the type to organize my money but when he broke it down in the video i was like yeah so let me keep on this let's let's keep millions watching. of ways and an infinite amount of ways to organize your money especially when it comes uh, to bank accounts, right? I'm gonna be giving you the basic ways that I organize my money. You know, it has got a little bit more intricate now uh, as, I've, as I've become more business savvy and have more businesses, more accounts, more people to pay, things like that. Um, but the first account is investments, right? So the way I do anything that I do is the investments, right? Now this account is the most important account, which is why we're gonna start off with the investments account first. The investments account is the most important account because this investment account is the money that you're going to use to increase your money, right? So, mm -hmm. for me, for me, the way that I stay rich, the way that I uh, continue my lifestyle is 40% of all my money automatically goes into my investment account. I don't give a damn how I get it, where it comes from, how <laughs> much it is, 40% of all my money will go into my investment account. Right? right simple easy plain automatic now for me being a youtuber being a, a, a public figure uh, having the businesses that I have my investments are a little different than most people right because my investment account sometimes might have something to do with clothes right I might be doing a big photo shoot for a new clothing line and I might have to spend four thousand dollars out of that investment account so I can do this video, shoot these commercials, and make 8,000, 10,000, 20,000 on the back end, right? However you wanna slice it, doesn't matter. As long as it makes sense, as long as an investment, and what that mm -hmm. investment is, is you put something in to get something out, right? So an investment is not taking a girl on a date. An investment <laughs> is not taking your ass to the, the Lakers game. Thanks. An investment is not buying a $4,000 fucking jacket for no reason. If you are a lawyer, you need to invest in some suits. You don't need to invest in no motherfucking chain, right? Because you're not a YouTuber, you're not a rapper, you're not a public figure, you're not trying, you don't, you don't need that. You're a doctor, you need to invest in some fucking scrubs, some little, little things you get, you know, some shoes. You don't need to invest in, uh, uh, you need to invest in property, stocks, crypto. You don't need to invest in fucking Palm Angel shirts if you're a doctor. What, when are you going to wear that? You get right. what I'm saying? So investment could be different for everybody depending on what business you in, depending on how your money comes in, right? But general investments is what I'm mainly talking about. So this is like property, this is stocks, this is crypto, this is uh, starting businesses, right? This is investments that you make into yourself. You might be even buying a course for you to learn how to start a business, right? These are investments into yourself, advertising, right? Mm -hmm. All these things like that are general investments that anybody does for whatever business they have or whatever income stream they have, right? But the, what you spend your money on is different. But like I said, 40% of all your money goes into my investment account automatically. I don't give a damn if it's $100,000, $40,000 is going to my investments, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I do this is because I want the lump sum, the biggest chunk of my money that I can grab, I want that to go towards making more money, right? So, I, first of all, I don't automatically spend the money when it gets to my investment account. I might, I, I, I save my investment, my investment account gets saved just like every other account. My investment account is stacking up. It's not being saved, it's more like being stored, right? So I'm storing my investment money so that I can go buy that property, whether it costs $400,000, $20,000, $10,000 deposit, it doesn't matter. However I do it, I just use that money. That money will always be used by the end of the year. All that money will be gone and it will be put into investments, okay? So that's the first account. The second account is my bill account, right? So these are my expenses. This is my rent. This is my uh, car notes, right? I have two cars, so my car notes. 
Uh, this is my cable, I mean my internet bill. This is my Netflix. This is my, uh, anything that's on a monthly basis. Anything that I have to pay consistently, uh, not just a one-time payment, you know what I'm saying? This is where that account comes in at. That account is, it differs, honestly, you know what I'm saying? Because I, what I usually do is I put 10 to 15% in there, but a lot of times I put more in there just because it's, it's an account that I need, right? This is the account that I save my money. I also store my money so that I have more for the future, right? So I don't want to put 10% into my, my business or into my bill account, excuse me, and only pay the bills for this month. You get what I'm saying? So if I get $100,000 and my bills are $10,000 a month, I'm not going to only put $10,000 in there. I'm going to throw a little extra of whatever else I have in there so that after I save up, I can be good. So in this account, I might have two, three, four, five years of bills, right? So I can stay in this apartment, live in this lifestyle across the street from where I'm at, paying these bills. And with these cars, I can do that for four, five, six years just off of this one account. And I don't have Smart. to do no work. Just Smart. off this one account, this money that I have right now, liquid, I can live the way I live for five, six years. And that's how I did that by not, by not exactly spending all of it. I'm going to explain that more in another video, but the way that I did that was just delayed gratification. Yeah. When I first start making money, is isn't necessarily the time where I first start spending it. I was making right. the, uh, a huge sum of money, six figures a month for almost a year before I moved into the type of lifestyle that six figures a month would pay for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So by the time I got to the lifestyle that I'm in now, what you see now, the Fendi store, the $6,000 couch. The 75 inch TV on the wall across the street from the crypto arena in Los Angeles, penthouse, floor to ceiling windows. The lifestyle you see now is paid for from that year of saving that I did um, before I moved into this type of lifestyle. So I'm not really going to give you a percentage as far as bills go um, because, like I said, everybody's percentage is going to be different. Everybody doesn't make as much. Somebody, people, some people make more. Some people make less. Some Jay Z probably spends two percent of his money on bills because he's a fucking billionaire. So he probably spends 0.5 percent of his money on his monthly bills. You know what I'm saying? But this is just the amount of money that I put in there, um, or the just a rough amount that you could pretty much take heed to. The next account is mm -hmm. your savings account, right? So I usually put 20 percent of all my money into my savings account. This is rainy day savings, savings that I have not ever touched. I've never went into this account. This is savings that if I go broke everywhere else, I come to my savings account to save me, right? So this is if I, I, I'm talking about all resources exhausted. I sold my house, I sold my jewelry, I sold my cars, I sold my clothes. I'm sitting here broke with nothing. Okay, I have no other option. Let me go to my savings account, right? If I have another option, that savings account will never get touched. And, you know, that's how I plan to keep it. You know, I want to be 70 years old and be like, I've never spent a dollar out of this account. It's at $45 billion because I've never spent a dollar out of this account, right? So that's my plan. That's my goal. That should be yours, too. 20% is where I put all my money. Well, 20% is the amount of money that I put into my savings. If I get $100,000, I'm putting $20,000 in my savings, right? Automatically off the rip, right? Mm -hmm. So that was, that's a guaranteed amount of percentage that I definitely do every single month, right? Like now I said, my bill account, my bill account is a little different because like I said, sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 20, sometimes it's 30. Sometimes one month, I might not feel like going out shopping. I might just work every day for 30 days and I might put 60% in my bill account just to save up, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So those, that's the only account that's kind of wishy-washy sometimes, at least for me personally. Um, the next account is my spending account. Right? And this is also 20%, right? So remember, I put 40% of my investment, 20% into my savings, so we have 60, another 20% into my spending, and then roughly 20 or whatever I can into my bill account, right? So that's 100% pretty much. Hey, look, I hope y'all writing this stuff down too, bro. Like, bro, when I watched this video, I watched it like, what, three, four times? And I wrote down everything he was saying, bro, and I just applied it. <laughs> you feel me? I'm telling so, you it works. Uh, my say my spending account is a twenty percent again. So if I get a hundred thousand dollars, I get I spent twenty thousand in my spending account, right? This is how this is the most important on the fact that this is how you live a luxurious life. 
while still being somewhat frugal. The way I, the, way, the reason I say that is because 20% of my money gets spent on bullshit. Shit that means nothing. So if I take a girl to Roof Chris, if I want to take a helicopter to Malibu for no reason, if I want to go to vacation, if I want to buy a $20,000 jacket that I just want because I always wanted it, if I want to go buy uh, something that just doesn't hold any value, if I want to take three girls on a private jet and have sex with them in the back, in the back that's what I'm going to do out of this account, right? <laughs> out of the spending account. So sometimes, because of my profession, it gets a little bit tricky uh, because I'm a YouTuber and I'm a public figure and, you know, I do things in the public eye as far as, like, f almost like fame, I guess you can call it. So, like I said, sometimes my clothes can be an investment, right? Because it's image. You have to invest into your image. Sometimes my jewelry might be an investment, right? Sometimes this Cartier bracelet might be an investment, but it still comes out of this spending account most times than not. You get what I'm saying? Unless I have a very specific reason on why I need these clothes to go here to make my money. For example, if I was a rapper and I had a show, I would spend probably spend about half in my investment account, half in my spending account on this $4,000 outfit so I can go to the show and make $40,000. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, spending, spending account is pretty much, I call it your fuck off account. Anything you want to fuck off. You don't care about this money. This is I do apologize for the language to you. I'm going to go bad. buy a goddamn <laughs> Ferrari tomorrow. I'm going to spend it out of this account. I don't need a fucking Ferrari. If I want to go buy a, a new new Corvette, I just don't like the one I got right now. I want to go buy a new Benz. It's coming out of this account. Because it's not something I need. It's not a bill. It's right. not an investment. It's not a, uh, it's not a, uh, it's not, it's not taxes. It's not nothing that I need to do. This is just this is just shit that I want, yeah. right? So yeah. your wants should be about 20% of your money. And that's how you stay rich. That's one of the easiest ways to stay rich, only spend 20%. You know, and I know if you're still working a regular job, you're still making three, four, two thousand dollars a month, you can't only spend 20% of your money because that's only four hundred dollars. I get that. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about the way you the way you organize your money now is how you're gonna organize it when you get rich. Right. right, so this this I'm just talking about personal when it comes to the percentages. The only thing I want you to take directly from this video verbatim is the the way that I organize my money, right. not the percentages, because everybody's percentages is going to be different. Now, yeah. the last account is taxes. Right, real quick, yeah. So like everything up to this point, bro, like just like you said, everything that you need to take away, the main thing that you need to take away is separating. You feel me? That that's something that I wasn't doing. I was just putting my money into two separate accounts. And I was just, you know, taking taking majority of my money out of the the um uh, dang what account was that? <laughs> I had a savings and a dang what <laughs> uh spending account I guess yeah so I had a spending account and then oh checking account checking account which was my spending and bill. Like I was putting all my where my like all my money was in that one account, and all the money that I was taking out of that account was bills. I was spending out of that account, investing out of that account, and then my savings account was just not being touched. You know what I'm saying? So I just really only had two accounts, but one account was being stretched three three ways. Pause. <laughs> you feel me? So like this. I'm telling you, it's like it's breaking up, it's separating everything for you, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like having a divider in your, like when you was in high school, you had them dividers in your binder, you feel me, for math, science, language arts, social studies, you know what I'm saying? This is the same way, but now it's with your money, you're doing it with your money now. So, yeah, bro, hey, take heed, I'm telling you if, you, ain't, if you ain't never did this before, I'm telling you, it is... A life hack for show you know what I'm saying and I knew about it before but I, I like like I said I just never knew how to apply it you feel me but he at the end of the video he gonna like really break it down and tell you how to do it you know so but yeah bro like I like I first heard about this method called the, the 20 30 50 I think is that the 20 30 50 rule it's basically the same this like the same concept, but you're just doing three accounts, but he's breaking it down to like four, five accounts even, you know what I'm saying, with taxes. So, I pretty much split up 100% of my money, right? So, I told you 20% here, 20% here, 20% here. 
40% here. So now that's 100% of my money. After I split all my money up, then I put, I use, I usually put a little bit extra into my tax account, right? So I know you probably like, how do you put money into your tax account if you have a hundred dollars? I'll tell you. Anything that I don't, I can't write off on taxes, I just put into a tax account, right? So it's a business account. I put it in my tax account, and it's almost like a different, another savings account, right? So this is where, like, a lot of my scrap money will go. Because, honestly, most of the way my profession is, going back to my profession, a lot of my money gets written off on taxes, right? I have a vlog channel. So literally, if, all, if I can go spend a million dollars right now, if I put it all on my vlog channel, it's all a business expense, Every single dollar, Crazy. right? I can go <laughs> broke right now. As long as I put it on camera to put it out, to film content, I can use that as an excuse to write it off on taxes and pretty much pay no taxes on it, right? So that's more of the things that I do, and that's more of the ways that I kind of, you know, a little finesse of the system, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. But a uh, taxes account pretty much is just something that gets stacked up over time, um, and it has a lot of money in there so that I can pay my taxes. Um, this is something, this, now this tax account is something that is different for everybody. If you don't have a business, you don't need a tax account, you know, right? Cause you're not paying taxes. If you, if you're working a job, even if it's paying you $10 million a year, if they're taking taxes out of your check, you get back taxes. So you don't have to pay anything. But if you're a YouTuber, or a rapper, or a clothing line owner, or any type of business like that, you're going to have to pay some type of taxes. You're not just going to get off zero dollars free. You know what I'm saying? This year I had six figures in taxes. You know what I'm saying? So um, you're not going to get off for free. But this tax account is something that I store. Another way that I store my money so that when tax time does come, if I get any type of uh, any type of out of the blue expenses that I have to pay, or I might have did some uh, bad calculations, or my Account might have made a bad move or anything like that. I use out of my tax account. So it's really just like another another savings account. Okay, so I want you the main thing I want you to get from this video is separate your money. Mm -hmm. You need different accounts for different things. You need a investment account, right? So on Chase, when you go to your bank account, whatever bank you have, go Listen. to literally, literally Listen. investment, savings, bills, and expenses, yeah. right? Did I, make, did I get right? I make sure I didn't, I didn't miss out on nothing. Investment, bills, savings, and spending. Four, that's the minimum you need. Four different accounts mm -hmm. that you need to break your money up into. However you want to do that, however your money comes in. Four different accounts you need to break your money up into so you know what you're spending. Right? Nice. So you know what you have going on. Just having a bunch of money in your account and your account just say $4 million and you just spend it willy-nilly. You don't know what this money is for. You don't know what this mm. money is for. You didn't put no money over here. You're just spending shit. You just got a checking account and savings. You got way more in your checkings than your savings. You just spend it. That's how people go broke, bro. Hey, that's you know what, what I'm saying? That's why but I, was, I only bro. put 20%. I only put a certain percentage in my spending account. And I know if I go broke in this account, oh, I'm sitting my ass down. Until I can <laughs> right. save up enough, put more into this spending account, and then go spend it, right? Mm -hmm. So you're not going to see me on yachts, helicopters, jets, with girls, shopping, doing stupid shit, buying dumb shit, going traveling, shit that I don't need, right? You know, me traveling is something I want to do for the fruits of my labor, but it's not nothing that's going to make me money back, right? Most of my money is going to go towards investments, which is going to bring me more money back. And then when I get that money back from my investments, I split it up just like I just told you, right? So, for example, my 40% of my investments, let's say out of every $100,000, $40,000 comes to my investment. I might go buy a, a house, a property for $40,000. I might put $40,000 down payment on that. I might make four or $5,000 a month. Every time that $5,000 comes in a month, 20% goes to my savings, 20% goes to my savings, 20% goes to my spending, 20% goes to my bills, 40% goes to my investments, right? Mm -hmm. And I put 40% back into my investment account, right? And then, so I put $40,000 on a property, I make $5,000 a month, what's five times 48, right? So five, so now, after I get my money back, I'm in profit right here, so I got all my money back, but even every single dollar I'm splitting up and I'm putting it into these accounts. And that's how I stay on top of what I'm on top of. That's how I know what I'm spending my money on. That's how I organize my money. That's how I know how much savings I have, what I can spend, when I can spend it, what I'm investing on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's how I do it. That's how I organize my money. That's how I would suggest you organize your money. 
And the last thing I want to say is 20% of my bills is 20% of what I make is not my bills. You see what I'm saying? What I my bills is probably three, four percent of what I make, but I living put twenty percent in. Yeah, right. You mean. So three living goes into twenty almost seven times. Right? Mm -hmm. So if three goes into twenty almost seven times, and that's about how much I spend on bills, I make I'm saving seven times my monthly bills every time I get paid, right? Every month. So mm -hmm. at the end of the month. I paid my bills and I also got six more months of bills in that account just because yeah. I put the whole 20% in there. You get what I'm saying? Thanks. So I hope I, I hope I explained that correctly. Yeah. I hope you understood everything that I said. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I'm going to put the layout, the exact same layout that I just put in the description so you guys can see it and read it and visualize it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in anything, mentorships. You want videos like this on a weekly basis. If you want real financial secrets, um, make sure you go to my membership, moolahmembership.com right now. Sign up. You know, we might close any day. We only 2,000 spots. You do not want to be out missing out on those 2,000 people that have access to what I have access to. You have access to one-on-one -on -one help with me. You get group chats where you get stocks and crypto call-outs. Literally, all 2,000 of my members make money with me at the same time because of stocks and crypto. I got the best team in the world that watches the graphs. They study, they analyze this stuff for a living. They've been doing it for 20 odd some years. And they give me the sauce. They give me the advice on what to what stocks to buy, when to buy them, when to sell them, how to make my money. And I'm overly profitable every single day. And I share those same, those same call outs. I share them with you. On top of that, when you sign up, you're gonna get access to videos just like this, where I'm giving you step by step instructions on specific things that you need to learn to be a successful entrepreneur in any category whether that's stocks crypto business youtube social media instagram monetization um, mindset right i'm literally breaking down everything you need to know to make yourself successful so make sure y'all sign up right now it's something that you're not going to get yes, sir, anywhere man. else on youtube or anywhere else for that low have at least four accounts and you're separating your money in this way Yes, you might only be able to attribute 5% to your investments per month, but 5% is better than zero, right? Nice. Most people walking around have no investments. Most mm -hmm. people walking around spend $0 a month on any type of investment. I don't give a fuck if you're putting $5 a month into your stock market because that's all you can afford. That is $5 better spent in the stock market than it is on that black and mouth, or <laughs> that girl, or that dumb, that nasty ass McDonald's meal that you finna go buy for <laughs> no reason, or that stupid ass watch that you don't need, right? Or or five dollars less than that dumb ass date you going on with this thought ass girl that you don't even <laughs> like for real. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? So whatever percentage it you have, it could be different for everybody. Just make sure you organizing your money. Just making sure you on top of what yeah. you're on top of, so you can be successful. I see y'all in my next. Facts, man. Hey, look, bro. Just like you said, the main thing that you need to take away from this video is separate, organize your money, bro. Um, and this was something that, like I, just like you said in the beginning, bro, I didn't know. I didn't know to do, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know to actually go in and separate, you feel me? And just, you know, keep everything structured like that, you know what I'm saying? And that was the one thing that really was holding me back for a long time was just not having no type of structure with your money you know so we are so structured with everything else in our life when it comes to the money it's like like nah i know what i'm doing when actually like we don't you know what i'm saying more specifically me hey i'm gonna just speak for myself like i ain't know what i was doing you know what i'm saying but once i actually started applying this for real and not just like one day just like like being on top of it and then the next day not 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 being said no every day be on it you know what i'm saying like every time you get paid separate it you know what i'm saying do that you know what i'm saying uh so yeah like actually do it like actually take these steps man actually do it like after i watched this video about two or three times like i literally went to my bank like literally went to my bank account online and made me i think yeah yeah two two more accounts and then start separating it just like you did verbatim you know what i'm saying except for the the percentages was a little bit different 
But like you said, like whatever percentages fits your lifestyle and whatever the case may be, do it your way. But this is the blueprint. That's the blueprint that he was doing, bro. So yeah, take it, apply it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's no use to you just watching the video and then just clicking off. No. Apply it. I'm telling you, once I started doing this right here, what he was talking about, I started to see a whole different change in my finances, bro. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. So, uh, comment down below. Give me your thoughts on this video, man. Salute to Mac Moolah. Um, I will leave his link in the description below, man, so you can check out this video without my face, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, definitely go ahead and check it out, man. Um, and check out his channel. He got some more amazing content on his channel. I think I'm a... a like watch some more of his uh, content with y'all as well too because he got a lot of sauce that y'all need to take heed to man for sure but yeah man that's pretty much it so now with that being said it's your boy and they just dope signing out deuces